new video this afternoon shows the Dali cargo ship at the port or is its new spot in the uh, Seagirt Marine Terminal at the Port of Baltimore. An engineer is finally able to move that ship today, nearly two months after it hit the key bridge and caused it to collapse. Our Randy Bass is on the ground in Dundalk this afternoon. Randy, you've been covering this for so long and moving that ship was a major milestone in the recovery efforts. Yeah, a major milestone is right, Mark Tosin. It, it really truly is. It took crews more than 18 hours to get the Dolly cargo ship ready to move about two and a half miles from here at the site of the Key Bridge collapse to its new home at the Seagirt Terminal. Take a look at this new video we shot here on the ground today. Some of the bridge and roadway wreckage still sits across the front of the Dolly cargo ship with dozens of cargo containers and 21 crew members who are still on board nearly two months after this all happened. Engineer had planned for weeks to try to get this ship out of the way, clearing the channel, including a quick demolition to move some of that wreckage from the ship this time last week. It's a big step toward clearing another large section of the channel along the Patapsco River here near the port of Baltimore. It means more workers and tourists will soon pass through here too. It's welcome news for local businesses like Jimmy's Famous Seafood. It's good news. It's, it's a good sign for everybody. Um, you know, obviously I'm sure they have a lot of investigating to do. A lot more work cut out for them, but just to get the, the channel back open is, is amazing. You saw everybody come together. You don't want to necessarily want to go through it again, but it, it does really you know show your true colors and it really makes a community come together. And, and obviously it's affecting a lot, a lot of people. So for them to come together quickly and move this quick is, is truly fascinating to see. Now the port could see more people coming through as soon as this weekend. There are several cruises that are expected to leave here from the port this weekend ahead of Memorial Day. There's no indication at this point that there may be any changes or delays to that schedule as we head into the weekend, but we'll keep you posted if anything changes. Live in Dundalk, I'm Randy Bass, DC News Now.